What's up? Roland here. Today on 3D Nerd Stuff, we're going to see if we can't solve the problem we've been having with our rafts sticking to our models and not being able to get them to come free. All right, let's see if we can't figure out how to fix this rafting problem we've been having. So in order to do that, we're going to print out three simple prints today. We're going to print out a little 10 by 10 millimeter cube. We'll switch over to Thingiverse real quick. And here's our 10 by 10 millimeter cube. We'll download that and then we'll bring that up inside Matter Control. So we'll come in here and we'll get our little 10 millimeter cube. As you can see, that loaded up real fast. It's just a little itty bitty cube. Um, I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a custom setting for it. Um, click duplicate and we're going to do this with no infill. Just to save plastic. We're not trying to see if the cube's the right dimension or anything on this one. We're not trying to get a really pretty print with it. We're just trying to see if we can't get the cube to break free from the raft. So that's our goal this week. So we'll do it with 0% infill and we will save that. Now we can come in here and we can select our 0% infill. Now one of the things we can do is there's a lot more options we can get to here. So we're going to come in here and we're going to select basic and we're going to go to advanced. And you can see when we go to advanced it changes our general settings so we have a lot more settings we can go through. Um, today we're going to worry about our raft settings, our skirt and our raft. So as you can see here, this lets you set up all your different skirt settings. Uh, it also lets you set up all your different raft settings. And the ones we're going to worry about here is this air gap. The air gap here is the distance between the raft and the first layer of the print. Now, they do recommend that you make it half the distance of your nozzle. With the, we have a .4 nozzle, so it should be set to .2. But as y'all have noticed in my last two videos, I have not been able to get the model to pull free from the raft. So because of that, we're going to play with this setting. Now we are going to try three different things. We're going to print one model with it at standard settings. And as soon as the model finishes printing, I'm going to try and remove the model from the raft while it's still hot, while the build plate's still hot. You know, I'm going to try and do it as quickly as possible while everything's still warm and hot. Then we're going to come back and we're going to change this setting here to a 3 and then a 4. And we're going to print those. By creating a bigger air gap, the piece shouldn't hold as firmly to it. But we don't want to get it so loose that A, it messes up the first layer really bad. And B, that the piece just falls off. So... We're going to do that. We're going to do all three, all three prints. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you all three prints at once, and then we'll go through removing the rafts on them. Okay? So let's get the printer heated up and get started. Okay, as we can see, it just finished printing, so we're going to pull this out here. And the first thing we're going to try and do is we're going to try and leave the raft attached to the build plate here, and we're going to try and remove the cube from the raft. Nope, still can't get it to move. Try a little pair of pliers here. Yep, oh, nope. See, we got the whole thing to come free. So now let's see if we can work the raft free from the cube. We'll just gently work our way around it here, flexing it on the corners and flexing it on the sides. And see if we can't get it to break free. So we're just going to gently work our way around. It 
does still does not seem like it wants to come free from it. <coughs> so yeah, now we can see that it's just tearing away like it did on the other prints. So yep, as we can see here, yeah, it's just torn away like it did on all the other ones. It's still left everything attached to the bottom. So that obviously tells me we've got a setting we need to change. So let's print another one and see how that one comes out. Okay, as we can see, we just got done printing that next one. So the second cube just finished. We'll keep the print bed warm here. So now we'll see if this one will come free. We'll try and remove the cube itself without actually removing the wrap first. So let's we'll see, can we get underneath it? No, not there. Can we break it free by hand? No, we'll give it a little. Oh, well, the wrap came free, that's okay. Now let's see if we can get the model off the wrap now. I know the rafts are supposed to stick to them, but they're not supposed to stick so hard you can't ever get them free. still not able to get that wrap to come off of there. All it does is break around the bottom. Y'all can see that there. I mean, it's not very good when you can't get the rafts to come off your models. breaking free more than other ones have but that's still really stuck to it so well let's try it one more time and let's increase it another increase it a little bit more and see if we can't get it off okay one more print okay as we can see here we just had enough our third one finish up for us so now we're gonna see if we can't get the third one to come free uh, we'll start by seeing if it'll get underneath it and I can't don't appear to be able to that's okay try and break it free by hand no still not coming free let's see if we can grab a hold of it well we got the whole thing pulled off which has happened every time before now let's see if we can get the raft to come free this time We got the raft to break. That isn't what we're looking for. We're looking to get the raft to come free. Which it still does not seem like it wants to. No. Nope. It looks like we're still getting the bottom to stick really hard. Now, I don't know if what I'm doing just isn't making a difference, or if the slicer software here that we're using just isn't changing. I mean, you'd think by now I would have gotten some difference out of it. But still, I mean, it's got a whole layer of wrap well adhered to it. So I'm going to play with the settings a little bit more and see if I can't get it to come free. So let me just print out a few more of them here on my own and see if I can't get it to come free. And when I do, I'll let y'all know what I found. Okay? Alright, as you can see, it took more than three prints here to try and find a solution. I did finally get one to print and to break free from the base, but... I didn't like how I had to do it. I'll show you all how I had to do it, but I didn't like how I had to do it, and I'll explain why. All right, y'all, here we are. We're in matter control. 
and I'm going to show you all what I found. As you can see, we have the, tw the 10 millimeter uh, cube loaded up. Um, of course, we're in the layer view, so all you see is the first layer right now. And in our skirts and rafts, as you can see, down here underneath raft, we have our air gap set to 20 millimeters. Okay. Now, I set it to 20 millimeters just to make a point so you can see what's going on. It makes it real easy to see it. Okay, so we have layer one here, and then we can go up through the layers, and we have layer two, layer three, layer four. Now, layer five should actually be the bottom layer of the model. Okay, as you can see, it's all the way up here. Okay, so layer six, wait a minute. Layer six printed all the way back down here. Well, why did it do that? Well, I actually contacted uh, Matter Control, which is Matter Hackers, and asked them. I said, is this a glitch? You know, I'm trying to get it to pull free from the rafts, and I can't get it to do it. And I did some extremes just to see what would happen. I told it to print at 20 millimeters, and it printed layer one way up in the air, and it printed layer two all the way back down on top of the raft. And they said, yes, this is how it's actually supposed to work, which I guess works fine if the 0.2 millimeter gap works what they basically said is it prints the second layer where the second layer would be if it printed the first layer on the raft okay so I'm printing with 0.2 millimeter uh, print height so that means there is a 0.2 millimeter gap underneath this one layer well the 0.2 millimeter isn't breaking free for me so I needed to increase that so even if I set it to point three it's gonna go back and print the second layer at point two so that's what the example here shows it prints layer five all the way up in the air and then prints layer six all the way back down on top of the raft now they said my material should have cooled enough by the time it goes to print the second layer that it won't stick any better and it what lets it break free well I haven't found that to be true and I have changed a lot of settings I have come in here and let's see we look at our filament on the on extruder I have it as cold as I can get it to print which is 190 C um, they've got it as cold as possible I let them sit I did it at all different heights I mean I did everything they suggested I still couldn't get it to break free so what I did is I came up with a little hack of a way to do it based on these settings I have right here. Now, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you that hack here real quick, and it's not something I'd ever really wanna do for a big model, um, but for something little like this, it works great, but I don't know why I would need a raft for something little like this. So, we'll have to just see how it works out in the future. Um, I don't know how other slicers do it. Uh, we may have to look at another slicer one day and see what it does. So for now, this is what I found to help get the model to break free from the raft. So let me show you. Okay, as you can see here, we're starting to print. And it's now leveling the bed. And there we go. There's the first layer. Starting to print it. And then we're going to print the second layer and the third layer and the fourth layer. Now you can see here. Slowed it down, it's printing it up. Now it's raising up to print the fifth layer. And I'm reaching out with the spatula and stopping the plastic from coming down and using the tweezers to pick it off and let it move down. What I did there is I removed the first layer, which would have been printed at whatever height. This way it prints the second layer at 0.2 millimeters. And because it prints the second layer at 0.2 millimeters, it's not two layers smashed together at the same height. So by doing this, it has less adhesion to the raft, which made it possible for me to remove it. So that is what I had to do to get it to remove. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, have a great day. Sink, 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 sink it, baby. Mm -mm. Sink it, baby. Sink.